Ghana Oil Company Limited Go is on a mission. A mission to market quality petroleum and other energy products at affordable price. While doing this, Go has been innovative and progressive at improving its business processes. It is by improving business processes that have led us into acquiring ISO, International Standards Organization Certification, which we started in 2008 and got certified in 2014 and received the certificate at a ceremony in 2015. While pursuing and improving on our business and expansion, we have been mindful to stay socially responsible. At Grow, we seek to have positive relationships with our publics by giving back to society what we call the good in business. Over the last year, more than 50,000 residents in six rural communities in three regions of Ghana have benefited from girl-funded mechanized boreholes. Goyal has decided to go into corporate social responsibilities to serve the society, give back to them what they've given to us. We're sharing our profits with communities where we work. Water, being life, is one of the very essential commodities which are lacking in some very rural communities. Because of this, our company has decided that we will continue to provide portable drinking water for such communities recognized. So far, we've served about 50,000 people by way of providing portable drinking water for them. Every year, we try to provide a minimum of 10 mechanized boreholes. Since 2013, we've been doing this to date and we'll continue to do it until 2017. Other areas of our CSRs are in the educational sector, culturally, providing sponsorship for some of the festivals that come to our attention. We've done it for Kundum, we do it for Homowo, we do it for anybody that comes to us and we find important. We also are in the sports area. We recognize our, our sportsmen, footballers, both beach soccer and normal soccer. Anywhere we think the society needs us, go out, we'll find us there. At Pano and Amamfum in the Eastern region, residents were elated with the provision of the mechanized boreholes. I didn't hear the champion, man. I didn't hear the champion, but I didn't hear the champion. I didn't hear the champion, but I didn't hear the champion. I didn't hear the champion, but I didn't hear the champion. I didn't hear the champion, but I didn't hear the champion. I didn't hear the champion, but I didn't hear the in Kwanta North District, which shares boundary with the northern region, have the following towns Kofini, Kambu Wule, and Pasa in its community also benefiting from our water project. The indigents were excited when they received their share of the water project. Through the provision of water and various CSR activities, well has helped to improve on the quality of life in rural communities. Keeping a safe, secure, healthy and environmentally friendly atmosphere has been the hallmark of Gwell. As a result, fire training education and drills were organized for fuel attendants and staff. Staff of Gwell were not left out. Fire safety awareness and drills were also held for them. Fire, 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 fire. <laughs> The most time is supposed to be three minutes. This structure is supposed to be three minutes. Within three minutes, everybody must be down. Staff 
and management in the others who also take up other operational duties must also be you know, uh, concerned about safety, health, and the environment. We do a lot of uh, station development. We also maintain our facilities. We also install, you know, other equipment which involve the you know, electrical installations. All these involve, you know, risk. And also, you know, definitely our staff must be, you know, trained, must be aware of all the consequences of the things that they do. I mean, therefore, when we get them to be aware of such things, we will then put in the necessary controls and then administrative, you know, measures to make sure that even if the accident happens, it will be minimal. I'm happy that, you know, the board and management and staff have embraced the safety concept. And definitely, uh, it has also enhanced, you know, our image. Definitely, when you look at our service stations, they now look prettier. They look more, you know, housekeeping is excellent. And then uh, you, look, you look at, you know, our safety records. It's also very good. So I encourage everybody to make sure that, you know, we set this responsibility of everybody. We are all responsible for each other. And we make sure that we do the things right. And then we follow the industry procedures and ensure that we don't, you know, we have an accident free operations. That is our goal. Guao insists on safe and high quality delivery of its product. To this end, many training programs were held to improve on delivery of products to consumers. One such training program was for haulage drivers to sharpen their skills in defensive driving. And then be pretty defensive driving. A defensive driver, a you be a or no day, or born and mobile, and some bought other road users and mobile. Other training programs focused on best practices for our dealers. Topics that were tackled included financials in the area of bookkeeping, fuel discharging procedures, housekeeping, among others. Go is looking into the future with the aim of expanding further and remaining relevant in the petroleum industry. This is possible because at Go, it's about good energy, and this is captured by our managing director, Patrick Akoli. The future of Gold is very bright. Uh, in the last two, three years, we've done a lot of uh, expansion projects, and uh, we've been able to move us uh, the number of uh, retail outlets from 165 to 256. That entails a lot of investment, and those investments will begin to yield positive results maybe in the next two, three years. Outside of that, we co once we continue to expand on the retail network, we, we want to branch into other areas. We are ready to banking. You know, we are we started banking E and I, and then we are putting up this 13.5 million tank for facility in Takwa de Harbour. You know, and it's going to become the hub of bankering activities along the coast. So that's also going to generate a lot of activities and, and revenue. Then we are branching to bitumen production. In fact, we are into alliance with SMB of La Côte d'Ivoire, so we are putting up a blending plant in Tema. And uh, we believe that's also going to be a game changer. This has some of the immediate hanging fruits. Aside of all these things, we are thinking of uh, putting up L LMG tank farm in Tema. And when we say we are thinking God means already you know we are on the ground because we have once we have land and then we have resources fine. And then that's why shareholders you know are being invited at this stage to bring in equity funds. And once the shareholders begin to believe in the in the company we restructure our balance sheet, we can bring in a lot more funding to do bigger things because we intend to expand into the sub-region. We started by sending scouts into Mali. They have brought some good results. We intend to go to Liberia, Sierra Leone. These are countries that are emerging from war, and they need a lot of investments. We are going there as their brothers who have already made it and we want to show them how it is done. So I think the future prospects of, of gold, at least in the next 
five years. I'm coming to our strategic plan. It looks so good. Guao will continue to give back to society as it pursues profitable ventures in a conducive, ethical, and environmentally safe manner. Guao, good energy.